Hello, hello, my name is Elisa and welcome back to my channel, All You Can Eat with Elisa. Today we are going to be testing the best box cakes on the market. I consider myself a cake snob, I like making homemade cakes, but I thought that I would test the ones that are the most popular ones that are out there to give you my opinion on which brand is the best. So I've got Duncan Hines, Pillsbury, and Betty Crocker to start things off. Let's see if my opinion has changed. They, they, they can't be that bad, right? Let's go in alphabetical order. We will start with Miss Betty. Um, Miss, ba okay, I have my, my oven preheated to 350. All three mixes are going to be on the same temperature, 350, which is great. First bowl is Betty. Mix cake mix, okay. Water, butter, eggs in a large bowl. Betty requires butter, so I have it softened. And there she goes. Three eggs. Okay. And one cup of water. Beat, oh, vigorously. We better be vigorous with this thing. Okay, she looks mixed. So now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna scoop Betty into my pink cupcake liner so it's easy to distinguish which one is Betty Cracker. Now, if by the way, my goal is to get to a thousand followers this year. So if you're watching and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and then you'll be also alerted whenever new content drops too. Help me out, I would really appreciate that. Now back to Duncan. Duncan, same thing, one cup of water. Interestingly, when I was looking for these box mixes, I had a hard time finding the Duncan Hine ones. And I don't know if it's because most people like to buy Duncan Hines. Is that a, tell, a telling sign that this is like the more popular one? We shall see. Three eggs. I could see though why this is people do the box mix. It's like, it's, easy. it's so easy. Okay, and this calls for a half cup of oil. Um, it says vegetable oil. I am using canola oil too. This is interesting to me. This one's slightly more yellow. I don't know if that makes it, but it, it almost, it doesn't feel, or it doesn't look as creamy as the, um, the Betty Crocker one, but we shall see. There's more, yeah, it's definitely more runnier than the Betty. The Betty one was thicker. And what's, what's funny is, well, what's not funny, what's interesting is the Betty Crocker consistency is very close to the consistency of when I make a yellow or vanilla cake. But this one is definitely more runny. Okay, got in. Appearance wise, I'm thinking right now that the Betty one looks better. Okay, off for some washing. Last we have Pillsbury Moist Supreme Yellow Cake. I mean, they all say that they're moist, so that we'll see if that's the case. When it comes to baked anything, moist is also affected by how uh, long you cook the cake for, because if you over bake your cake, I don't care if the box is moist or not, your cake is gonna be dry. Temperature and timing is everything. Baking is therapeutic, isn't it? It is for me, I love baking. And of course, as you guys obviously know, I'm obsessed with food, I love cooking, I love making things homemade. If there's a recipe or a dish that you would um, 
like me to do, let me know in the comments and um, I love hearing your comments and I try to respond to any questions that you have. So feel free to drop me a note. What do we have? Okay, we have one cup of water too going in here and then we have a half a cup of oil. What's interesting is like the Betty Crocker one only um, required one third cup of fat, which is with the butter. And so I'm wondering if, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, that's a cup. Oh, I only needed half a cup. Well, there we go. What are we gonna do? So we're just gonna try to pour half of a cup because I'm an idiot. Um, so well, let's just do a little bit at a time. Is that precise? That is precise. Okay, I have, what am I gonna do with that now? It's like ombre, um, meaning that because the shades, because Pillsbury is the most yellow out of the three. Let's scoop her in. Pillsbury, same, they're the same like um, fat and um, liquid as the Duncan, so it's both, they're both runny. This one's just, I feel like the most yellow out of them. I have a really good chocolate cake recipe and it is also runny, but it's delicious. It has some coffee. Maybe I'll do that next. Okay, that should do it. Um, okay, so we are gonna go bake these. For cupcakes, Betty Crocker says 14 to 19 minutes. Duncan Hines has 18 to 21 minutes. And Pillsbury cupcakes bake for 19 to 23 minutes. I always go on the lower end because again, if you overbake it, not gonna be moist. So just make sure you try not to overbake it. I'll check it at around like 15, 16, 15, 16 minutes, and then we'll check it with a toothpick and see if it needs more time. All right. I actually took these out at 15 minutes. Okay, so I took these out. I did a quick toothpick check. Always do a toothpick check um, uh, in different spots of your cupcakes. They should come out very clean. That's how you know. But always remember, not try not to overbake that. You can see this one kind of got a little bit darker. I probably have a hot, hotter spot in my oven. This is the Betty Crocker has more rise and it actually goes down like a little hill in order. And then um, as far as just rise, you've got Duncan Hines in the middle and then Pillsbury has the least, has least risen. So, and I'm not gonna frost these for today, obviously, because I want it, I'm just tasting the cake. I'm just tasting the cake as is without any influence from delicious frosting. Our cakes have cooled off a bit, so I think we'll, let's just try it out. Again, I'll try the first one, which is Betty Crocker, super moist butter recipe. Betty is on the side, so let's go with this one. Okay. Hmm, interesting. It tastes eggy to me. Eggy. Um, the crumb, I'm, you guys, like, I'm a, I'm a crumb cake kind of sort. Like, this is like, I guess, I don't know, is this, maybe this is what all box cakes are like. It's okay. Let's try Duncan. Well, okay, it peels a little bit nicer, I think. I don't know, kind of. I think. Crumb-wise, it's a little bit better than, than um, Betty, but still not as good as like my homemade ones. Oh. Not bad. I like it better than the Betty Cracker one. There's something to be said about, they all kind of have the similar texture. I don't. I don't know what it is. Pillsbury, sorry, sorry. Last one. Pillsbury 
Moist Supreme Yellow. This one didn't rise as much as I mentioned. Um, they all have this like very bouncy, artificial bounciness to them. Okay, the crumb has the most, it looks the most like a crumb on a cake that you would bake like homemade, I guess. Um, more so than this guy and definitely more than Batty Cracker. Mm-hmm, okay, yes. Easy to rate for me. Least, middle of the pack. If, if you're going to do, I guess, box cake, I would probably pick up the Pillsbury one because it tasted, I guess, texture-wise the most like homemade, but I don't know, guys, no. I don't know. This is the last time I'm going to be buying box cake. But if you do have to buy box cake, I guess go with Pillsbury. Homemade is the best. It is what it is for box cake, I guess. But Pillsbury, Pillsbury Reign Supreme, if you had to compare them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, I know most of you that are watching have not subscribed to my channel. So hit subscribe, drop me a note, and um, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. do we do the oil oh duh, the oil is the butter what an idiot so